The ABL90 Flex Plus is a compact analyzer that can be placed on a countertop or on an optional radiometer roll stand. There is a handle on the ABL90 Flex Plus for lifting and carrying. This is the analyzer touchscreen. This is the barcode reader for operator logon and patient or sample identifier. Here is the Safe Pico sample mixer that can be used with radiometer's Safe Pico syringes. Here is the automated inlet where samples will be introduced into the analyzer. This is the door to the sensor cassette compartment. This is where the sensor cassette is housed. Here is the solution pack that contains liquid calibrators, quality control, and waste. If you have an internal battery installed, this is where you will see the battery indicator light. Here is the built-in thermal printer. This is a USB port, which is often used for the wireless connectivity adapter. Here is the analyzer's serial number, which can also be found on printouts and under analyzer settings. You have now learned more about the physical elements of the ABL90 Flex Plus Analyzer. Analyze the sample immediately, or if storage is unavoidable, analyze within 30 minutes. If analysis cannot be done immediately after sampling, mix a second time by hand or use an automatic mixer prior to analysis to obtain a homogeneous sample. Keep the sample at room temperature. It must not be cooled. With the Safe Pico Aspirator Syringe, you can leave the vented safe tip cap on during analysis. As you are using a radiometer Safe Pico syringe, you should use the built-in Safe Pico mixer. Hold the Safe Pico like this and insert the syringe horizontally all the way into the mixing unit and lower it. The mixing unit now mixes the sample. Remove the Safe Pico sampler from the mixing unit when the light flashes. Remove it the same way you inserted it. Lift it to a horizontal position and take it out. On the screen, press Syringe, which will open the inlet. Follow the instructions on the screen to insert the syringe into the inlet. You should hold the syringe by the barrel, not the plunger, as you push the syringe into the inlet. Push the syringe until it stops and keep holding it until the analyzer tells you to remove the syringe. Once removed, the inlet will automatically close. The patient identification screen will then appear. At this point, you can scan in or enter patient demographics, such as patient ID, accession number, sample type, and other required inputs. Once the sample has been measured, the results will show on the screen, be printed, and transmitted to your hospital information system, depending on the analyzer setup. The results will also be stored in the analyzer. When viewing the analyzer screen, there are two numbers to the left of the analyzer status button. The top number with the circle icon beside it is the number of tests left in the sensor cassette. The bottom number with the rectangle icon beside it is the number of activities or cycles left in the solution pack. If the analyzer traffic light is yellow while the entire parameter bar is green, that is an indication that a maintenance activity or consumable change needs to be completed or monitored. To check what consumable needs to be changed, press the yellow Analyzer Status button. View the submenu of possible reasons the light is yellow. If the consumables light is yellow, press Consumables. Whichever consumable is running low by volume or approaching expiration will also appear yellow. To identify the exact time of expiration, tap the status button at the bottom of the screen and tap the consumable that is being prompted to be changed. You will see under replacement information the date and time the consumable must be replaced. If you do not replace the consumable by this time, the analyzer will go into hold and you will not be able to measure until you change it. There are three dedicated levels of QC solution in the solution pack, levels A, 
B, and C. The ABL90 Flex Plus will measure one of these levels every eight hours by default. You have the option to adjust the frequency of these built-in QCs. You can initiate a built-in quality control measurement with these steps. First, tap Analyzer Status, then Quality Control. Highlight the desired built-in QC solution, A, B, or C. Then press Start QC at the bottom of the screen. This will start the QC measurement. You will be unable to analyze other samples while the analyzer measures the QC. Once the QC measurement is complete, the results can be found by opening Data Log, Quality Control Log, and Results. When all parameters are within the control ranges and there are no other issues, the parameter bar will show all parameters in green and the analyzer will go into Ready status. If the results of the QC measurement on one or more parameters are outside the control ranges, those parameters will be highlighted in yellow or red on the parameter bar, depending on your settings. You will see arrows next to the failed parameter on the displayed results. The built-in QC results will be stored in the quality control data logs.